Alright, now that we've got the bed securely on and everything else is still tightened up, the uh, belt is on there tightly, we are going to go ahead and put on our Z-axis. Now we're going to start off doing that by using our 420 millimeter threaded rod and sliding it through the two bottom bar clamps on the uh, frame of the printer. So try and make sure that's about evened up. Uh, we're going to tighten these right now just to keep them in place, but we're going to have to line them up so that they are lining up with the uh, Z motor mount bar slot right here, this groove. So we're going to get this on here, put one on the other side as well. And these are what are going to hold those bar clamps in place. Real fast. So we've got our nut wash on either side, we're going to take our bar clamp, slide it on there, now these aren't tight enough to pinch just yet, slide it around on me, and then once again washer and nut, and same on the other side. Alright, so now this is on. Now we need this to line up. We don't want to tighten that just yet because we need to slide our smooth rods in there. We need to flip this back over and make sure that the Z mounts and the holes on these line up. Now you can actually go ahead and probably stick the rods in there and just uh, you know line it up based on your sight. Let's get these wires out of the way. They are cumbersome. Alright, so we'll go ahead and look here. Uh, it looks pretty close. This one needs a little bit of a... Alright, so let's go ahead and loosen this up a little bit so we can get our, our uh, smooth rods in there. We need to slide this through up here. There we are. And before you put it in that bar clamp, we need to put our bearings. Two LM8 UU linear bearings on either side. And you can actually see this is a little bit. Yeah, it looks about right. Perfect. So, you just slide that down, make sure it fits in there. Something's not lining up. Loosen this up a little bit. Take this one over. There we are. There we go. Slid in. Alright, that side is done. We will do the same. With this side now, this is loosened up. Oh, not loosened up enough. Sometimes the plastic shrinks a little bit, so you gotta really get it in there. Let's see if we can. There we are. Take that off. There we go. All right. Put our bearings on. And slide it down. That one really didn't match up. There we are. Alright, it's in there. Now we'll go ahead and tighten those up and get ready for the next segment. So now that we have the, uh, the Z smooth rods on with the uh, linear bearings, we're going to go ahead and uh, put together the X idler and X motor mount. 
We've already gone ahead and done the X motor mount just because it's fairly straightforward and it's pretty much the exact same as the idler minus the motor. So what we have is we have the X motor mount. You'll notice it's the motor mount because it has this uh, three prong spot for the motor to attach onto. So we're going to attach the motor just like that using the same uh, M3 bolts that we use. Uh, we have the coupler here, which you'll notice has a spot for four M3 nuts on one side and then a, just a spot for the bolts on the other. And you want to clamp those around one end, uh, the M8 side, to one end of the threaded rod. Um, and then right here in this between area where you can't see is where it's going to be the exact same as in the uh, idler, so we'll get to that. But basically what's in here is you can see an M8 nut right there, an M8 nut on the outside, and then between the two there is a Z-spring, which we have right here. Now it's, it's the wide bore spring that comes with the printers. So we're going to go ahead and set that aside and do the X idler. So we'll start off by uh, mounting the bearing that is going to be the opposite end of the pulley. Uh, what we have is two M8 nuts, two washers, and then two fender washers, our 40 millimeter uh, threaded rod, and then the 608 ZZ bearing. So we'll start off by putting a nut and a washer. Uh, the bearing is going to go on this side, but we're going to need a nut and a washer right here to hold it in. So we're going to put that on. Uh, it's a little bit tricky to get it in place just because of this uh, bearing slide here. So it might take a second, but once you get it there, it's, it'll be, it'll stay. Alright, got the uh, washer looped on. Just gotta get the, uh, see if you have bigger fingers too, it's harder to, uh, Line them up. Alright. It is through. Now we just have to slowly get in the nut. And we're in. Alright. Kind of. Hold on. There we are. Okay. We are in. Now, next, we are going to put a fender washer right there, a M8 washer bearing, another M8 washer, fender washer, and M8 nut. We're going to tighten this up so it is against the idler. And once we put it on the axis, it should basically mount up or align perfectly with the pulley on the other end. So we'll finger tighten that for now. The bearing should still roll smoothly. Um, but there you go. Your bearing is attached to your X idler. Now we will go ahead and put in the, uh, the nut here in the bottom of this. It should just pop right in. Made that nice clicking sound slide in the spring and then place our other nut on top of it. Now you'll, you'll feel some tension when you push down on that. Uh, when you're threading the rod in you want to make sure this is pushed flush and then that this one in the bottom does not pop out at all. Um, so you're gonna have to use your fingers to kind of keep it keep it uh, tense while you're threading the rod in there. Um, until it catches the other one actually you can just set it on something and uh, have it go all the way through. Go ahead and use this side. So yep, yeah. all right, we are threading it in. We wanna make sure to keep it, keep the uh, spring a little bit tense. Now this, the spring, the reason it's in here is it uh, helps absorb any backlash on the, uh, the print, so we will go ahead, and I feel it about, it's about to thread with the one on the bottom. Got to keep it inside, and we're good. The tension is kept. Yeah, this one popped out a little bit, but the tension's still there. Preferably this would be completely flush. We'll probably go back and fix that afterwards, but for the purposes of the video, this will suffice. Now we just have to, you know, tediously thread this through.
All right, we'll stop about there. All right, now take this. Uh, you'll see on the coupler there is a M8 side and a smaller side. It's probably around M5, maybe. Um, but we're going to come to that later with the uh, rubber hose that we have. But we're going to take the M8 side and just clamp it around the bar on the end. On the upper side, uh, you'll see it's going to go this way, so you want this on the top. Um, so we'll go ahead and take our M3 20 millimeters and hand tighten those for now just because we want to make sure it's on there correctly. And we don't want to tighten these all the way right now anyway because they're going to have to be clamped around the Z motors, which we'll look at here in just a second after we get this secured on here by hand. Alright, one more. And again, make sure your nuts don't pop out while you're uh, threading these in. Alright, so our X motor mount and X idler are both complete. Uh, we've got the bearing. We still need to put the pulley on here, but we'll do that when we're ready to put the uh, belt on. And it may actually be easier because it looks like we're going to have to loosen up the motor a bit to get the pulley on, but now um, we're going to take our Z motors and I'll try and angle it here such that you can see. We have these uh, the shaft coming out of the motor and with many kits, you will find they come with a small rubber hose. Um, you're going to have to probably cut it to length, but basically this is going to slide over the end of the motor and therefore allow the coupler that is on the end of the uh, idler and motor mount, that will allow it to grip the motor because if the motor shaft was left uh, just smooth bare, it, it may not grip it properly. So you want to slide this uh, piece of rubber hosing over the uh, motor shaft and then you will use that to, uh, to attach the uh, idler and the, actually the entire Z-axis. So we're going to go ahead and finish tightening everything up and get started on the mounting.